Hey guys, it's me again. Uh, hey, I am coming in on part two of the my testimony, my story of getting through a deep, dark part of my life. Um, I've been talking a little bit about depression and how God has helped me to get through depression and to deal with it. Um, so... I, I wanted to say something else, all right? This is, again, I'm sure this is going to upset people, but it's something that I feel like I have to say. Um, the more we listen to society and the world telling us that depression is something that we're just always going to be stuck with, it's something that we have. Um, the more we're going to take it and hold on to it. This is my opinion. Everyone has their own story. But this is how I've been dealing with mine. All right. So please uh, don't be offended. But do consider it. Think about it. Um, the more the world says it's it's okay to be depressed. It, it's okay to be anxious. It is normal for us to have negative feelings, but it's not okay for us to dwell on those negative feelings. Now, um, another verse that has helped me, we talked about some Bible verses that have helped me in my um, dealing with depression. Um, because I do have faith in God, I do trust God with... Um, with my mind. I do trust God with my heart. The Bible tells us that the heart is deceitful and wicked above all things. You guys, we can't trust our own hearts. We can't trust our own emotions and we can't dwell on the things that just pop up in our heads. Things are going to pop up. Negative thoughts are going to come. These things are not coming from God. Um, for In the book of 2 Timothy in the Bible, in chapter 1, verse 7, it says, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So if we're feeling fear and we're feeling anxious and we're feeling like we're going a little bit crazy that's not coming from God every good and perfect gift comes from God feelings of fear and anxiety and stress those aren't from God but those are things that we can give to God because he says that we can right he says that we can cast all our cares on him because he cares for us. Um, in the book of John, let's go to the book of John in chapter 14. All right. And I, I am going to give, you know, a lot of scripture because this is what helped me again. These are the things that have helped me to deal with depression and to get through to the other side. I am not perfect. I still have the propensity to have negative thoughts and it be very much down on myself. But the thing is, none of us are perfect. None of us are righteous. None of us, especially in comparison to Jesus Christ, the, the most perfect human being that walked on the earth, God in the form of man, fully man, fully God, coming and living amongst us. That was the only perfect one. I'm not perfect. I'm never going to be good enough when compared to God. I And I'm not going to compare myself anymore for, from, you know, who I was to who I am, maybe, but I'm not comparing myself to other Christians or to other people in general. 
that is not constructive, especially in my life. All right. John chapter 14, verse 27. Let's start with verse 26. It says, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. He's giving us peace, but not worldly peace. That's not the kind of peace that comes from God. The kind of peace that comes from God is that that peace in knowing that no matter how many dark thoughts are going to pop into our heads, because they are coming, like I said, they will pop into our minds. But the Bible tells us that we can change our thoughts. We can control what's there. We can't control what comes in, but we can control what we do with it, and we can change what we do with it. So, I'm going to look in one more place for today, and then um, this will be the last verse on this video. We're going to look at Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. That says, Have not I commanded thee? Right? God is commanding us to do something. Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. Guys, we're commanded. We are commanded to not be afraid and to not be discouraged or dismayed. We're supposed to have good courage. If we do these things consistently, constantly, every time those negative thoughts creep in and those negative feelings and those feelings of being overwhelmed by so many things. We're not supposed to be slaves to those things anymore. Uh, they, do, they keep us in slavery. They keep us bound if we don't bind them and throw them away, give them over to God. He tells us that, um, that we can do that. Again, cast all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. If we can do that, then we can start to have that peace that God promises, that peace that passes all understanding. We can have joy. It doesn't mean every single moment will be happy, but that does mean that we understand and we know that God is with us wherever we go, always. All right. So I will see you again soon. Everybody have a great day. Keep your mind out of here. Keep it up here. All right. Bye-bye.